right now, as we're speaking, a miracle of God is taking Amen. place in the yes. nation of Israel yes. with our Jewish brothers and sisters, yep. a miracle of God. Amen. And it's because of so many of you. But yes. also there is another miracle that is getting ready to take place that we just found about out about about an hour ago. Yeah. And you're watching because God <laughs> wants you to be a part of that miracle. Yeah. And God wants you to be Amen. a part of that miracle because he has an amazing yes, miracle for absolutely. you. We're going to talk today yeah. about Moses. Yep. Three about 3,400 years ago. <laughs> The now moment for Moses yeah. and the prophetic now yes. moment for you. Yeah. Can you feel that? Ooh, can you feel can, the, yeah. the now moment for you? You're watching Amen. because God is about to open over yeah. you, your family, the Amen. windows of heaven. We'll Amen. be right back. Everybody, we're Pastors Larry and Tiz Huck. We want to welcome you to our YouTube channel and invite you to subscribe and be a member of all the resources that we make available to you. You know, so many times we've taught you, and it's it's so vitally important yes. that we yes. all understand how this works. Yeah. God says, is there not an appointed time? Right. A right. Moedim, an appointed time. Yeah. And, and Malachi chapter 3, how many of us have heard Malachi chapter 3? Right. And it's all about your tithes and your offerings, but listen to what the Word of God says. Yeah. It says that if we teshuvah yeah. unto God, if yeah. we return into God. They said, how do we return? God says in your tithe and your offering. Right. Most of you know right. this. The offering doesn't mean here's my tithe yeah. and here's another buck or two on top of it. Right, right. The offering is three times a year. Yes. We come before the Lord and we yes. don't come empty handed. Empty -handed. Mm -mm. Those three times are yeah. Passover. Yes. Those three times are Passover or Resurrection Sunday. Yep. Those three times are Shavuot or Pentecost. Yes. And the third one is right now, yeah. or we just came out of it actually, is Feast of Tabernacles right. or Sukkot. Yeah. If we understand this, yes. three times a year, there is a window. Yeah. There's a window, a window of opportunity. So many times we think that that window just hovers over us. Mm. And when we finally obey, God opens that window. It is not how it works. On Passover, the window passes over us. Right. On, on Pentecost, Shavuot, the window passes over us. On Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot, the window passes over us. If we miss that window, mm. it is shut for another whole year. Yes. But because, and you say it so well, God is not trying to get something. From us, he's trying to get something to us. And Absolutely. this shouts because yeah. Sukkot, yeah. And, and let me just show this, there's so much to teach. Mm -hmm. Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, is the most important window. Yeah. You know, on Passover, they would they would bring it all. Everybody would get an offering to right, Jerusalem, right. but a lot of the people would send someone. Right. The same thing with Pentecost. Everybody would get that first fruit yeah. because they knew Absolutely. if they missed it, that blessing was yeah. gone for a year. Amen. But many times, someone would send someone with right. their offering, uh, someone who works for them. Yeah. But during the Feast of Tabernacles, during the time of Sukkot, tis. They all came yeah. from everywhere. Yes. This, this is why we see the, yeah. the whole, uh, you and I have walked the pilgrimage road yeah. where they all came up, where people in Israel said yep. Jesus himself walked this oh, road yeah. because this is the most important, yes. this is the most important offering Absolutely. because it not only opens the windows of heaven, yeah. it brings the early and the latter rain. Amen. And I know most of you know this, the early rain seals the, yeah. the seed in the ground. Yes. The latter rain brings brings the right, abundance right. of the harvest. This is the early and the latter rain. Yeah. It's the most important in every area of yeah, your life. Yeah. But right now we're in a 30-day grace period 
And because they, they, they came to Moses and said, we missed this. And, and mm. Moses went to God. Yeah. God said, give them a 30 day grace period. They didn't yeah. know they were delayed somehow. Yeah. Why? Because God is wanting to open up the Absolutely. windows of heaven. So that's yeah. happening right now. But as we said, this right now, right now, as we are in the studio, we've got fresh pictures and videos that we're going to be showing you yes. from Kazakhstan that eight months ago, we began to work on yeah. this project. So many of you began to give. Yes. We weren't even allowed to tell you what nation it was. Mm. We began to work with the nation of Israel, yep. with the government of Israel in this Muslim country. Yeah. Little did we know this was a now moment. Right. This plane that you see landing right now. Yeah. And by the way, it's not just young people. It was just going to be young people. But because of the now moment, we had to get as many on there as we could yeah. and not wait for the, some families to come later. We had to get them on as we could. So the photos you see is them thanking you. Yes. And then the, the, the other photos, you see them already landing. Yeah. But as we're talking to them, we found out this is a now moment mm. and that right now another nation mm -hmm. has opened up. We've yep. already said as we're, and we're still raising funds for this. We got to raise about 150,000 yeah. still for this one yeah. to because there's so many extras that we're bringing in yeah. to get them acclimated in the nation of Israel, fulfilling Bible prophecy. Right. But we've already said yes to this next one yeah. because God knows in advance. Amen. You know, yes. something that you say all the time, every time God is getting ready to bless you. Yeah, he gives you an opportunity to be a blessing. Yeah. And you know, Larry, we actually live by that. You know, I think that sometimes people think, oh, we just pick a project out of the world, you know, something good, yeah. which is wonderful. But with you and I, we get up every day and we have for a long time and we pray and we ask God, what are you doing in the world today and how do you want us to be a part of it? Yes. And you know, God leads us and sometimes it's not easy to say yes because you know, we're yeah. juggling a lot of things. Yeah. And yet this is so evident of if we had not said yes to this project, God only knows what the future of these young people would have been. Now their future is the future of Israel. And we don't know if they would have gotten out exactly. if we hadn't said, and we said, what, probably six months ago. Yeah. And, and let me just tell you about saying yes. And I want to talk about Moses yeah. here in a minute. But saying yes, we've got another country that's opening up right now. Many of you yeah. that have already given a first fruit, we, we need you to help us fill finish this project because yeah. we we brought in more than we thought we were going to yeah. but there's another project but when i sat with at our house yep. for dinner two members of israeli government and they said if you guys say yes we will move forward on yeah. this and i said well right now we've got to raise so much for hundreds of thousands of yeah. dollars for ambulances that we're buying for yeah. Israel because of the bombings that were taking right. place out of uh, the Gaza Strip and yeah. out of uh, uh, the different areas coming into Israel. And, and we needed ambulances. And so yeah. I said, we'll give half. So many of you stepped up Absolutely. with the ambulances where yes. we got more than yes. enough. So yes. we yes. called them and said, Let's do the whole thing. Yep. And then they said, well, we've got more that we want to come in. Yep. And had we not said yes, had yeah. you not said had yes, you. yes, who knows what would have happened. But remember this, every time yeah. God is getting ready to bless you, every yeah. time God is getting ready to open the windows yep. of heaven, every time God is getting ready, read the rest of Malachi, to rebuke the devourer yes. for your sake, yes. he first gives us a chance to be, be a, a blessing. blessing. Yeah. When we come back, we're going to talk about Moses. When God spoke to Moses, Moses didn't feel like this was a very good time <laughs> for him to step up. Yeah. What would have happened in the world? What would have happened in Moses' life had he not said yes? When I, we My come back, goodness. I'm going to show you the Hebrew understanding yeah. of Moses seeing the burning bush Amen. and turning aside to yeah. be a part of what God is doing. Amen. For all of you that give during this grace period, 
We will use an offering. We've already called and said we're going to help. We don't know how much. I think, I, don't quote me, I think there's a 1,000 people that are getting ready to, Jews, to be moved to Israel. We're yeah. going to say yes to as much as we possibly can. Yep. For your help, for your blessing, for yes. your courage, yes. we want to send you every one of these Amen. is the Shema. Yep. The Shema is out of Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9, yeah. where it says in Hebrew, Shema Israel, Adonai Elohenu Adonai Chad. Yep. Hear, O Israel. The Lord, he is our God, yes. and the yes. Lord, he is one. Amen. Now, that's not just words in the uh -uh. Bible. And, and I think I shared last week, or we were talking in the back, I asked a very, very wonderful rabbi friend of ours, why is it so important that everyone says the Shema every day? He said, because it's not just a prayer. It is a declaration yeah. yep. from your soul. That's right to God, from your Amen. family to God, yeah. from your home yes, to God. Yes. Hear, O Israel, yep. hear, world, Amen. I am declaring, yes, and it's a declaration yes. to your own soul. That's right. Hear, O Israel, That's right. the Lord, he is Amen. our God, Amen. and he is the only God. Yep. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. These aren't just words. These are something very supernatural yeah. that we are saying, Amen. Almighty God, in the midst of yes. the thorn bush, yeah. Almighty God is our God, yep. and we stand with Amen. Him, and we stand Amen. with the nation of Israel. I'm going to teach you about Moses, I'm going to teach you about you, and I'm going to teach you about where we are right now in Bible prophecy. We'll be right back. Did you know that your First Fruits offering during this season of Sukkot is one of the most important offerings you can sow? This is when God promises to open the windows of heaven over your life with an outpouring of spiritual and financial blessing. But as you're learning, we're in a 30-day grace period that will end soon. So we encourage you to take a step of faith and let us hear from you today. Your First Fruits offering, whether large or small, does more than bring a great blessing into your life. It will bring a great blessing to Israel and the Jewish people through Project Aliyah. You'll be helping to support these godly teenagers who have chosen to leave their homes in Kazakhstan to start a new life in Israel. You'll also be helping assist many other Jews desperate to escape the hate and anti-Semitism that's sweeping the world. I'm here on the tarmac at Ben Gurion Airport in Israel. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to receive a plane full of over 100 new Olim, new immigrants that are moving to Israel from Kazakhstan. We've worked together with your generous help for over a year to make this happen. And finally, this dream is coming true. We are truly witnessing the fulfillment of Bible prophecy. So thank you so much on behalf of myself, the government of Israel, for all of Karen Ayesod. Thank you, Pastor Larry, and thank all of you. God bless you. As you sow your first fruits offering of any size to help with Project Aliyah, we want to bless you with this unique Shema Mezuzah. It's embossed with this important biblical prayer in both Hebrew and English. God gave His people the mezuzah to be a symbol of faith and a daily reminder of His protection and promises over your home. As you sow your offering of $135 or more, we want to say thank you by adding this wonderful Shema necklace and chain. What makes this pendant so unique is that it's designed using all Hebrew letters. It's a display of your desire to be a blessing to Israel and your commitment to love the Lord with all your heart and soul. To show our appreciation for supporting Project Aliyah with a First Fruits offering of $500 or more, we will add this impressive Shema metallic artwork. It's a stunning reproduction by artist Patrick Newworth and made exclusively for our ministry friends and partners. What a statement of your faith in the one true God and what a symbol of your love for Israel. To get involved and to be a blessing, simply dial our toll-free number at 800 978 8546 and speak with one of our helpful operators. You can also choose to visit our secure website at LarryHuck.tv where you can contribute and select your Shema thank you gifts. Or you can always mail your offering to the address on the screen. 
But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact the ministry at 800-978-8546. We assure you that your First Fruits offering is like putting good seed into good soil. Why? Because it's going toward one of the greatest charitable and prophetic projects you could ever take part in, Project Aliyah. And as you bless these Jewish people, you are indeed blessing Israel, for which God promises to bless you in return. Remember, though, we're in God's 30-day grace period, which ends soon. So please let us hear from you before this window of blessing passes by. We sincerely thank you today for standing with us as we stand with Israel. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, we're talking about what is happening in the nation of Israel. And folks, I know you know this, but I just want to I just want to send that anointing yes. on you. This is fulfillment of Bible Amen. prophecy. Tis not only Jews Amen. moving to Israel, which signifies, according to the yeah. word of God, the last generation, but yeah. Gentiles. Yeah. Think about this. Instead yeah. of Gentiles pushing Jews out of Israel, Incredible. Gentiles, Christians, yes. are partnering. Amen. Paul said that Amen. one new man tearing down the wall yep. that divides yeah. and us two becoming one. Amen. And you know, here's an amazing, yeah. here's an amazing thing. I don't know if we'll get to show this, but one of the videos we got from Kazakhstan yeah. is an Orthodox rabbi that's saying a prayer, yes. saying a blessing, and he says, and I understand that a plane is coming in any day now to pick Jews up. This, guys, this is a miracle of God. Oh. Jews and Gentiles coming yes. together. Yes. That one new man fulfilling yeah. Bible prophecy Amen. of Gentiles partnering with the yeah. nation of Israel. And, <laughs> and here we are, here we are in, in, in everywhere you look, every time you turn on the television, it is the birth pangs. You know, we, we, we teach this all the time here in the New Beginnings. And by the way, come on stream with us on Sunday yeah, mornings because we go into sure. we get to go into depth on things. Yes. But the reason why a woman has a birth pang yeah. is to let you know yeah. something amazing <laughs> is about to happen. Yeah. That's the same thing. The reason why you're watching, and I say this all the time because you need to hear it, in ancient Hebrew, there's no, no word, word for what? For coincidence. You're watching yeah, right absolutely. now because God is wanting to birth yes. it. We're in that window is right now. Man. That window is over you right yes. now. Your family, absolutely. your home, your children, your finances, and it's ready to open yep. if we make the move. Now watch yes. this. We just taught, and please go to our website and get the series because it's really a good yeah, series. It it's only three weeks long, but I, I felt led by God to teach on Moses. Little did I know mm -hmm. how it would prophetically tie in with my life, Tiz's life, yes. your life right now. Yeah. Moses is out tending his father-in-law Jethro's sheep. Yeah. Moses is taking the kids to soccer and baseball <laughs> and basketball and he's just going about life and all of a sudden he hears about kids in Kazakhstan. Ooh. He hears about another generation, another country yeah. that is opening up. And he sees, God shows him a bush that has Ooh. a fire in the middle of it. Yeah. Now, I, I, we're going to get to this tomorrow, but down the line when God tells Moses that yeah. I want you to go to Pharaoh, Moses says... Who am I that I should go? Right. Now, I'm going to get to in, in, into Love that this. detail tomorrow. Yeah. But it, it, we've always said, well, Moses said, I'm, 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 I, nobody, I can't talk I well. Can, yeah. I'm nobody. But that's way down the line. <laughs> in Hebrew, it brings up another question. Moses was being humble. Mm -hmm. But in Hebrew, it brings up another question. Moses is 80 years old. Yeah. And Moses is saying, why should I disrupt my life wow. to wow. help these people? What do I have to do with the Jews? Yeah. Moses, and I don't want to get too much of now, but <laughs> Moses was not raised Jewish. Uh -uh. Moses isn't even a Jewish name. Moses is an Egyptian name, mm. which means to be plucked up when he's plucked up by right, the right. river. The first time he tried to help the, the Jewish people, they got him in trouble. He, here he is, 40 years, he's been tending Jethro Sheep. He's got a family. He said, why should I get involved? What am I to okay, do with what you? What am I to do with you? <laughs> and, but I want you to go back a little bit. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Because a lot of you go, 
why should I get involved? Right, right. But, and, and you know, you shared something. Share that with me about a lot of people want to get involved. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I think that at the heart of a believer, at the heart of most people, really, you want to do something to make a difference in the world. You want to help change somebody's life. But we don't know where to start. And there's an old saying that says, between what we can and can't do, we end up doing nothing. Ooh, that is so good. I love when you <laughs> say that. Yeah, and this is what I love about these projects is that, you know, we want to make a difference. But on our own, we can't do it. We can't do a project like this. We can't change the world. But together, we can do great things. Yeah. And that's what's so incredible about what we're doing right now is, God, what are you doing in the world today? And how do you want us, how do you want you to be involved in it? You know, you think about that, and, and, and you, you said last week that every day, you and yeah. I pray. Every day we yeah. get up and we pray, God, what are you doing in the world? Amen. And? What's our part in What's it? What's our part in yep. it? You think about that, how yeah. that matches up with the words of the Lord. Yeah. Don't worry about what you're going to eat, where you're going to yeah. sleep, what you're going to wear, but seek ye first the kingdom of yeah. God Amen. and his righteousness. Yes. Seek first the kingdom of God. God, what are you doing? Yes. And the word righteous has two meanings. It means being holy, Amen. yes, obviously, yeah. but it also, the word righteous in Hebrew means acts of charity, yes. acts of kindness. Yes. Why? Because, and that's why God gives us these appointed times. Yeah. Because he doesn't want us to miss when he's getting exactly. ready to open. So, yeah. you know, the Bible says charity saves yes. from death. Amen. Charity saves from death. Ooh, yes, know who knows, who knows if if we hadn't responded yeah. when we couldn't even tell you about the name of the country. Right. Who knows if we would be able to do this now, because that's the only plane yeah. getting out of Kazakhstan. Yeah. yeah. But it also saves our lives from death. The Bible Absolutely. says in Genesis 12, I will bless those who bless Israel and I will yeah. curse those who curse. We have been involved. We have orphanages in Haiti. We, mm -hmm. we feed 50,000 yeah. uh, uh, meals to children every month in, in Zimbabwe. We, we do a feeding program in Cuba. We, do, we, just, we yeah. just did 750 packages right, 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 yesterday right. Yeah. for Holocaust survivors, right. food packages and yeah. everything. But... So we've been involved with saving lives, yeah. ambulances, Holocaust, yeah. bomb shelters we build in Israel. But little did we know, three years ago, Lion, our grandson, had in, uh, uh, cancer that they'd never seen a child his age seven survive. Months old. Three months they gave you two and a half years ago. Yep. <laughs> three months. Look at us now. Listen. Little did we know. Yes, when, when God opens the windows of heaven, we're looking for yeah. financial blessing. We're looking for blessing on our church, blessing on our ministry, yeah. blessing on our kids, our grandkids. Yeah. Little did we know. And that's why this, this Feast of Tabernacles, yeah. tis, the Sukkot, it's, yeah. th there's a certain blessing on yeah. Passover, first yes. certain yes. blessing on Pentecost. First. But it's unlimited. Amen. It's unlimited. Yes. When yes. we get this in, it, it, it not only seals the blessing yeah. for this next year. Yep. This offering, there's a blessing that God Absolutely. has for you. Yes. When, and, and remind me to teach this next week yeah. again. When Moses saw the burning bush, yeah. he turned aside. Mm, and when he that. turned, as, when God saw him turn aside, yeah. by you being involved Amen. with this project yes. and the next one, God is seeing yeah. you turn aside Amen. to see what God yeah. is doing. Amen. And God called out Moses, Moses. Yeah. In, in the Torah, in the, math, in, in the five books of Moses, every letter means something. Yeah. God didn't just say Moses, Moses. Mm. I'll, I'll remind me to teach this tomorrow. Yeah, I love that. When, you, when God sees you get involved with what he's doing, yeah. he calls your name out twice. Mm. He called out Abraham's name, and he gave the the off the, the sacrifice for Isaac. Yeah. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jesus. It means that God is taking you yeah. and lifting you up yes. to a whole nother Amen. level. Amen. You're watching right now, yeah. prophetically. Yes. You're watching right now because the window of heaven, Amen. and it closes in two weeks yeah. for a year. Yep. The window of heaven is open. Amen. He'll come in for this year and yep. rebuke the devourer yes. against your family, yes. against your finances. Amen. And he's about to lift Amen. you up in every area yes. to a whole nother level. Amen. He's calling your name. Yep. 
turn aside and be a part of that Amen. great God anointing. We'll be right back. Did you know that your First Fruits offering during this season of Sukkot is one of the most important offerings you can sow? This is when God promises to open the windows of heaven over your life with an outpouring of spiritual and financial blessing. But as you're learning, we're in a 30-day grace period that will end soon. So we encourage you to take a step of faith and let us hear from you today. Your First Fruits offering, whether large or small, does more than bring a great blessing into your life. It will bring a great blessing to Israel and the Jewish people through Project Aliyah. You'll be helping to support these godly teenagers who have chosen to leave their homes in Kazakhstan to start a new life in Israel. You'll also be helping assist many other Jews desperate to escape the hate and anti-Semitism that's sweeping the world. As you sow your first fruits offering of any size to help with Project Aliyah, we want to bless you with this unique Shema Mezuzah. It's embossed with this important biblical prayer in both Hebrew and English. God gave His people the Mezuzah to be a symbol of faith and a daily reminder of His protection and promises over your home. As you sow your offering of $135 or more, we want to say thank you by adding this wonderful Shema necklace and chain. What makes this pendant so unique is that it's designed using all Hebrew letters. It's a display of your desire to be a blessing to Israel and your commitment to love the Lord with all your heart and soul. To show our appreciation for supporting Project Aliyah with a first fruits offering of $500 or more, we will add this impressive Shema metallic artwork. It's a stunning reproduction by artist Patrick Newworth and made exclusively for our ministry friends and partners. What a statement of your faith in the one true God and what a symbol of your love for Israel. To get involved and to be a blessing, simply dial our toll-free number at 800-978-8546 and speak with one of our helpful operators. You can also choose to visit our secure website at LarryHuck.tv, where you can contribute and select your Shema thank you gifts. Or you can always mail your offering to the address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact the ministry at 800-978-8546. We assure you that your First Fruits offering is like putting good seed into good soil. Why? Because it's going toward one of the greatest charitable and prophetic projects you could ever take part in, Project Aliyah. And as you bless these Jewish people, you are indeed blessing Israel, for which God promises to bless you in return. Remember though, we're in God's 30-day grace period, which ends soon. So please let us hear from you before this window of blessing passes by. We sincerely thank you today for standing with us as we stand with Israel. Now let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. When we turn aside yep. to be a part of what God is doing yes, yes. in the midst of Whew. the curses that are around us, Amen. the anointing That's and the fire sure. of God comes and makes yeah. where you stand Amen. the place that God stands, Amen. holy ground. Father, we release Amen. the blessing of God, yes. the anointing yes, of God. Lord. Father, the favor yes, of God. God. I want to yes. just, Ooh. God, release a special anointing for everyone that has yes. helped us and is helping yes, us. Yes. And let them realize Ooh. truly our best Amen. is yet to come. Amen. God bless you God for standing with Tiz and I and yes. standing with the nation of Thank Israel. You. I'm Pastor Larry. I'm Tiz. We love you guys. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Amen.